up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. I am one of your hosts, Greg Miller, alongside the Pride of Long Island, Colin Moriarty. Go Islanders. Go Islanders, indeed. They in the playoffs yet? Is it, play, is it playoff times? No, not yet, but they'll they'll make it. They'll okay. be fine. They play the Rangers tonight. I have hope. How much Thank longer you. till they're in the playoffs? Uh, They'll clinch probably in the next couple of weeks. Okay. And then the playoffs start in April. So when does the puck drop? The puck drops today at 4 o'clock. That, that was my favorite thing when we went to Boston, is <laughs> Colin kept saying, oh yeah, the puck drops at 4.30. It's just like, wow. That's the thing. That's what they say. The puck puck it's a real thing. Oh, yeah. Over there, the pure one, Tim Gettys. Let's get nasty. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. That's a different yeah. one. Over here, the producer <laughs> slash seducer, Nick Scarpino. Go Devils. <laughs> no, everybody. It's the one and only Ramon. Ramon Navarro. How exciting is this? Coming. It's happening. How many episodes in? What episode me. is this, Kevin? This is 69. 69? Damn it. You're just going to keep saying 69. Uh, 69. Episode 67. Ramon, you are Colin's best friend. You are well known to this audience because Colin mentions you each and every show in some respect. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I uh, currently live in Jersey City, New Jersey, uh, which is essentially, you know, might as well be New York City. But um, musician, have known this guy for, what is it now, 11, 12 years? 12 years, I think, yeah. Met together at Northeastern, and uh, yeah. Go Huskies. Yeah. Go Huskies. Go yeah, Huskies. they made the tournament, the NCAA yeah, tournament, yeah. for the first time since 1991. Very that's, exciting. It's pretty crazy. I know. We'll get bounced. Super, get bounced. Super so, I, hey, I'm, I'm happy there's Huskies involved. Thanks. Yes, there are Huskies. There are I Huskies like involved. Just because you like what dogs? What type yeah. of Huskies? Oh, I like Huskies. You know? At Northeastern, we have a real Husky named Scout. Of course. Scout the Husky. Yeah. I think, it's Scout? Sc- I think it's Scout the Maybe. Sixth now or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, Does it live on campus? Yeah. Does the dean take care of it? I don't know. I just see him every once in a while. Because we have a statue of a husky, too, that everyone rubs his nose. Sure. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> you got to do that. Yeah. But you don't do that to the real husky. But That's what we have Kevin for. do that for. with Thomas Jefferson. We just have people rub his nose. Campus or somebody else. They rub Some Thomas Jefferson's person. dick. <laughs> no, you sit next to him and that's what, Francis, Connor, Bob, whatever, it doesn't matter. Just if you didn't know, ladies up. and gentlemen, this is the Game Over Greggy Show each and every week. Four, sometimes five best friends gather on this table. That's a new one. Yeah, it was. What was that? They slapped the bottom and the, the top? Uh, the old... Punch and roll. The old, the old punch, punch and roll. roll. Yeah. Gather on this table each bring a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, you can get the full show each and every Friday over on Patreon.com slash kind of funny. But if you don't want to give us any money, the whole thing posts for free day by day, topic by topic over on YouTube.com slash kind of funny before the whole thing posts for free. <gasps> every Friday. Full show. YouTube. And like podcast services, Ramon. You're making me hot. <laughs> <laughs> You're a musician. You do that to people all the time. It's about Ooh, time somebody did it to ain't you. Ain't that right? What's that like? <laughs> You're up there. You're, you're, you're slapping the bass. Slapping the bass. All the ladies yeah, are I mean, looking sometimes, at you. sometimes I'm slapping the bass. Other times I'm picking it. Most times I'm picking it. But, you know, sorry to get so technical here. It's okay. It's okay. But anyway. No, what, what's that like in terms of... Have, being, in a, being in a profession where the ladies throw themselves at you. And now you're, happy, you're in a happy re- in, uh, relationship right now. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. I mean, it seems... As of late, it's been a lot more uh, men that are throwing themselves in. Really? Me, say. Yeah. It's the Just beard. Like, yeah, you know, really great great job on the base, man. You know, nice to meet you. They're all about that, that base. a lot of this, like, you know, <laughs> you're so hot or whatever. <laughs> You know, it's just. And a then lot they, of, they follow up with that. You're so hot, right like, after. Yeah, it. like how long have you been playing in Bad Rabbits? And I'm like, I'm kind of just filling in. <laughs> nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> they buy you a drink then? No. Do you accept the drink? Because they didn't buy me anything. But what if they did? Of course, I would accept the drink. <laughs> and then you know, depending on what else I'd have to accept after, you know. Yeah. That's that's when you start breaking. Mm, the, you let them down up, easy. Up for speculation. I would okay. Say. Okay. I like you. I'm glad you're here. Like um. You Tim. Yes. We have another one of those opportunities. A very cool doing. opportunity. What's this one? Crunchyroll. Okay. It's this anime website. As you guys know, I'm a big fan of a lot of anime, such as Attack on Titan, which you can find at Crunchyroll. And you can get a deal from us. If you go to crunchyroll.com slash kind of funny, yeah. you get premium Crunchyroll, which allows you to stream in 1080p HD. I'm a big fan of that for of everybody course. that freaking knows. And then in addition to that, you can, for the new shows coming out that are in Japan right now, like Fairy Tale, which our boy Michael Jones over at Rooster Teeth yeah. is a voice in. No, he isn't. Yeah, he doesn't plays, speak he Japanese. Plays thing. He, no, he does the English, <laughs> the dub. And uh, so what they do is if it comes out in Japan, if you have the premium thing, an hour later after it premieres, the newest episode, you can get it on the on Crunchyroll. So oh, that's nice. cool if you're a premium member. Yeah. So that's awesome. And yeah, so Crunchyroll.com slash kind of funny. They have a whole bunch of cool stuff. Like I said, Attack on Titan. You should definitely check that you out. You get it for 30 days? You get a 30-day free trial. And you should do it because it's cool. Watch Attack on Titan. Tweet at me. Let me know what you think about it. And then tweet at Nick underscore Skypino and tell him to watch it because he's slacking. Is he going to take advantage of this opportunity? 
Oh, he better. Yeah. And tweet yeah. also at Nick Scarpino, no underscore, and let him know. Let him know that <laughs> hey, we should watch Attack on Titan. Go to Crunchyroll. <laughs> he loves that. He needs to put uh, my photo he, needs to go up in Portillo's. He mm-hmm. loves when you tweet him. He, he does. does. Me? He definitely that, does. No, no. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, tweet Ramon, too. Everybody, I'm sure Ramon wants some tweets as well. Right? Mm-hmm. Navon yeah. or Ravon. Why, why don't we call, you know how I was, Ramon wants some t- tweets as well. Why didn't we call it Tweetsa, like pizza? Because Ramon wants some pizza as well. Yeah, like deliver your pizza to Daddy Green's pizza. <laughs> I don't even get that reference. It's from but uh, Last Dragon. It's not oh, so you're just a little reference nugget, man. It's like all day you're just dropping movie. these gems. Yes, Wouldn't he be like a, re- a reference machine? No, a nugget you know, would be like one no, of the references. No, because no, like when you go to McDonald's nowadays, they're just nugget. giving out nuggets. Like gotcha. you don't even need to pay anymore. Mm-hmm. Like McDonald's is like, all right, we'll give you twenty nuggets for like five bucks, and we're like, what? Yeah, that's a crazy I, I deal. Just now Burger King's literally you. like, we'll pay you to eat our nuggets. Like, if we'll pay you a dollar to have twenty nuggets, it's it's a Nuggets arms race. Yeah, <laughs> but even then, you're, the nugget is the solitary thing. Mcmcdonald's is giving. You. I wonder how the Denver Nuggets feel. Oh, oh. Is Carmelo Anthony still named still nuggets. nuggets? He's, he's on the somewhere. Knicks. Yeah, he's somewhere else. He's on the Knicks? Mm-hmm. Man, time flies. So you know they suck now. The Knicks always suck. Yeah. I was thinking about that just as a quick aside. The Knicks have always sucked. What, Patrick Ewing? Yeah, when they Ewing. made the finals. But they, Anthony Mason There Wasn't there a story about him? Passed away. Yeah, I saw that. That was what it was. Uh... They've just oh, they, they've they've always just been bad like our whole lives with the exception of like a few years like they've oh, like I remember in the well, in the mid late Chicago 90s, Knicks rivalry I mean they were they were great at the time really they just they were it's like the Pacers yeah. Bulls rivalry yeah, it's like true. yeah not much of a rivalry really yeah remember they kind of got beat Muggsy Bogues was Charlotte thing. Hornets yeah. he was on the Nuggets at one point sure, everybody, Charlotte everybody Hornets have a cool logo I've been on the Nuggets I was gonna say um before we get into the topics. Mm. We need to give a shout out to everybody who came to the Game Over Gregor Show panel. Oh, Pax. yeah. We went to Pax. So many East. cool kids. Got to do a whole show. Sorry, Ramon, you couldn't make it. It's all good. It wasn't close enough for you, apparently. Boston nope. isn't close enough to New Jersey nope. for you to nope. actually come out and nope. support your best friend. No big deal. Of course not. I had to, I had to work. Were you strapping the bass? Strapping the bass. What is that? That's what you do before you slap it. You got to strap, strap it on. and slap. The yeah. old strap and slap. The old strap. Yeah. Yeah. Old I like that. Strap yeah. and slap. <laughs> now, thank you to the hundreds of people who came to Pax East, came out, packed that room. That room was far too large, I thought, for us, and we filled it up. That we was did. Great. We filled it up. And then we stayed afterwards for autographs. Came to the meet and greet over by Northeastern. Connor Larkins, thank you so much for uh, putting us up too. Yeah. Thanks so much for Northeastern Confessions for making fun of us for yeah. all being there too. Yeah. <laughs> and you Confessions. Well, well, yeah, so that's just like an insider, like that's like gives you what's happening on campus. Yeah, it's just making fun. If of there's us. gonna be a pop quiz, yeah, yeah, a pop quiz. The pop quiz. <laughs> that's that's their big tweet that they put out. <laughs> those are the hot tweets. <laughs> <laughs> I remember a couple years ago when all those Facebook and Twitter pages came up about like college specific things. So like I went to SF State, so yeah. it was like SFSU confessions or whatever, and it would just be like just random things of like. That everyone there was like, oh, this is so funny. It was essentially BuzzFeed before BuzzFeed, but very specific and centralized, where it's like, oh, yeah, you know the bathroom on the third floor? You know how it says grout everywhere? No one knows what's up with that? Yeah. We all recognize that. And it's like, fuck, you're right. Well, remember, no, they, they didn't explain that, that what grout video? everywhere meant. No, no. It's uh, just music like, video for, uh, for Northeastern? Oh, where'd the Burger King go? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The grout thing? It's weird. Everyone knows about it. Like, So you didn't see this wall, how in between the um, cement pieces, there's yeah. the, like, I think it's called grout. I don't know. I don't know what grout Let's is. Ca- well... That's Can grout. you educate me? Is that grout? I think grout, that's grout, because caulk is plastic, isn't it? Caulk? Mm. Caulking is like the stuff you put in the shell. Well, Devin said grout, but like they would write in pen on all of the grout, grout puns. That's so awesome. Like, that's really good. We're that's grout really here. Good. Or like, Oscar the grout. Like, just a bunch of random shit, and it'd be everywhere. All over the screen. Be out, be grout, be grout. Be grout, be grout. Yeah. yeah. Be out. That's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. Talk shit, get shot was not there. Talk shit. <laughs> Talk grout, get grout. Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't. We'll work on those. We'll work on the grout puns. <laughs> Colin. Yes. Since Ramon's here, mm. he's a successful musician. He's got a successful beard. Mm-hmm. Very successful. Beard. And, uh, That's good. Uh, you you can lead. Usually the guests will go first, but your topics about you. I Ramon. never go first. Yeah. Uh, I'm not the Johnny Damon of this group. <laughs> Typically, I'm. <laughs> Who the very fuck deep, is Johnny Damon? Deep. He's a leadoff hitter. Oh, you're right. I should have known. Uh, you should have known that. No one should have done that. No, you shouldn't know who Johnny Damon is. He only played baseball for 15 years. Uh, I know him from so, the end of the Geraldo clip. The end of the Geraldo clip gives it away. He only won like three World Series. Um, so uh, we went. Ramon came by last night or whatever, and um, we were going through old pictures uh, that I, a lot, many of which I've not seen. And uh, we went through and tried to remove the the some of the incriminating ones. Now, sure. 
That's uh, upsetting. Now we have, uh, I don't know, a couple dozen, a few dozen pictures to go through. And Kevin, I'm gonna, I'll spit out to you the, I've numbered all the pictures. Oh wow! Smart. Um, so that you know which ones are which. But this listeners will, to the MP3, I'll describe what's happening. But this will give you a little insight into me and Ramon's relationship throughout North our careers in Northeastern. What, uh, you guys, from, do you guys have like a cute relationship name together? No, I that know. wasn't a thing. I never thought about that. No, no. When were you, when when, when were these? What what years are we spanning? So two thousand three to two thousand seven. Yeah, and you then Ramon you. was there in two thousand eight. So Northeastern's a five year school, but I did it in four. Yeah, um, I did it in because five. I well because you you co-opt. I didn't co-opt. Yeah, so yeah. Northeastern has a unique thing called it's not it's not a unique thing. Some schools do it, but Northeastern's well known and has the best co-oping program in the in the mm -hmm. United States, which is. They do a thing called Midler year in between sophomore and junior year. Midler. Midler year. It's your third year. So junior year is your fourth year and senior year is your fifth year. Um, like Midler year is when they take you and they send you to like a company to work. Yeah. And so um, and it's like real life experiences why Northeastern is such a prolific school is because of the co-op program and because people get great jobs there through that co-op program. So I didn't do that. Uh, you don't have to do it. Ramon did it. Um, I did. So. Where did you middling? Where did you middle? I did stuff at uh, Sony Music in LA that for a little awesome. bit. And what else? Did you did Sony you Music the in New York? Stripes? No, did no. You meet Britney Spears? <laughs> who else? I don't even. I can't even tell you who I met. I met, I met probably like Layla Grant. Some, some random people that probably aren't even on the label anymore. That are you know, who knows what, sure. what they're doing. But you know, interned for a radio station and ended up tour managing a band. What else? I think that was it. That Jeez, sounds kind of cool part. for school. It does. That yeah, does sound yeah. Cool. You get paid like, yeah, a little money. Like, yeah, so. take a, take a break from paying you know forty thousand dollars a year and you know go work for eight dollars <laughs> an hour. Yeah, it's, it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm opening. I'm gonna open picture number one. Picture Before number we even one. do this, I yeah. just want to say I'm so excited about this because the idea of Colin in college with Ramon is now. Just, I've heard so many stories that now we're getting evidence that this was a real thing yeah, that happened. This is a real thing. So we, this looked, we look very different. Yeah. So this say. is our. This, so we'll begin with our freshman year, picture number one. And says it's. I definitely wore a lot. I definitely wore a lot of American Eagle back then. I would say. Yeah, and this, it's it's a, a and that's a good yeah, eye. Right. It says this was taken November first, two thousand three. Yeah. So some of these are dated. Let's see if this one's dated. That was. Yeah, these are all dated. All right. Yeah. So um, that's funny, man. Uh, I didn't even think of that. So. Uh, oh, there we go. So this is Ramon and Whoa. I. Sweet Jesus. This oh, is Ramon man. and I. Ramon. I, I, I wore that Deftones hat, I think, every single day, like even in the shower, like all day long, <laughs> imprinted on my oh, head. Oh, my God. So that's me in my, and like, so a black sweatshirt, my out-of-time shirt. I had a, yeah, I had a nice one, little hemp necklace going on. Number one is just, yeah, them, them standing here like a bunch of goons. Colin is pointing at the sky, similar to that, that IGN PlayStation oh, 4 yeah. app photo of me pointing at the sky. But Ramon looks completely different. I wasn't expecting this. Because I've only known this this Ramon. So yeah. this, 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 together so at this Ramon. time, Ramon... Ramon's I look like the, some sort of cross between like the singer of like you know Fine Young Cannibal and Fred Armisen <laughs> that, without glasses. Fred Armisen. You kind of look like Drake a little bit. Yeah, yes. little, yeah, yeah yes. definitely. Yeah, I've gotten that before. You know, before I started wearing glasses, and you know, my God. So this, this awesome. so this was early November in 2003. We were freshmen. Ramon's birthday is two days after mine, the 16th of October. So, um, he had just turned 18, and I had just turned 19. Um, you look, you look, because I graduated like high school. Having fun, you, Colin. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I don't know. What, you look like you're. Like 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 it looks right like I'm here. definitely. It looks like I'm definitely. <laughs> looks like I'm definitely holding you up in this picture. <laughs> yeah. Um. Either that, who knows what you're doing here? I, I mean, think like, he's doing the first down. He's just so drunk he can't no, do it correctly. I don't know. Yeah, I was I, some sort of inebriation here. That's probably not entirely Coca Cola in that bottle. I would say, <laughs> you know, based on we were underage, and you know, it's probably has. But that, nobody ever thought God to look. You know, the, the cops rolled up, and you're like, "Oh, you're drinking Coke. You guys are fine. Go home." Yeah, if you've never seen this trick before. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah no, you're, you're like, we'll get the cop stories in a while. There's one picture that will that will allow us to tell one of the great stories. Awesome. So that's Ramon and I. So picture two. Uh, this was... <laughs> what is happening? So, <laughs> so, how do I even just got... Colin is standing next to an employee. So, one of the great... So, one of the great Dunkin Northeastern... Donuts. Dunkin one of the great Donuts? Northeastern uh, traditions, yeah. is, uh, like many colleges, is scavenger hunts. Um, and this was one of our scavenger hunts where we had to do, like, all sorts of stuff. We'll see more pictures that are a little more heinous, but we had to, like, go meet... I don't know... I know what this was, from what I remember, it was that one of the scavenger hunt items was get a picture of someone at Dunkin' Donuts smiling. And this guy wouldn't smile for us, and this is... Basically, what he, you know, what his impression of a smile. That smile. Was. That looks like no, no, but I, I, it, it, but it took us like ten minutes to get him to do that. From what this I is picture two, by the way, Kevin. Picture um, two. Yeah, so you, you know that more I or less. That when you cooked over. Basically, every scavenger you had, to, you had to take pictures and you know give proof, and uh, you know that was look at Colin. Yeah, but yeah, Colin, Colin had course, such a definitive jaw on Adams. Uh, my God, you you look like this reminds me of Alfredo a lot. 
You're very lanky looking. Oh, I was very lanky. Yeah. If you notice, most pictures, you know, he's got the earrings. Yeah, he's got the same Yankee earrings. hat. You know, of course, yeah, the with, like, the hat, rim, ripped uh, brim because you know we were that's talking cool. about that's that was that was hot. That's yeah, what was you hot. can see the hat deteriorate. Like the ripped brim. Through these pictures, you can see the hat deteriorate, and then the new hat comes in. Yeah, <laughs> and then that hat deteriorates. So what else have we got here? Number three. Uh, so this was me. And, this is so this is me in a fountain. That's got to be the. Is that that's the, like right outside the? Uh, is this the same? Yeah, it's the same night. All right, we'll get back to that. Oh my god. So um so. This is in front of Stens- Stetson. Yeah, one of the dining halls. Yeah, so say. this is like a dining hall in the back. Mm-hmm. And one of the things was going to the fountain. Now, this is in November in Boston, so it's fucking freezing. Um, but I did it. I don't think I took my clothes off. I when, probably could have done it in a more strategic manner. When, when you say you think that that was a thing that people do, that this is a thing that people do? This was for the scavenger hunt. Oh. We had to take a picture of someone in the yeah. fountain, and I like drew the short straw, pro, you know, God. so to speak. I don't remember exactly how I was. Yeah, I mean, I, I remember this. I remember water, all man. of this scavenger hunt being just very, very, just impulsive, and was no this, one just gave a fuck. And was we this like, your whatever. residence? We, we wanted, we wanted to win, and we were very competitive about it. Yeah, we, we lost. Were, we were kind of stopping at nothing. That always yeah. happens. I mean, there was pictures of like you know, get a picture of like. You know, you and a homeless guy, or get a picture of a guy with a mustache, and it who was like, set this up with the residence uh, hall? Some, well, no, no, Kevin's no, 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 no. Uh, Kevin, who we're gonna do the uh, the let's play tomorrow with. Uh, he he, he had a lot of. He's from a small town in New York, and he had a lot of his friends come up, like, hey, you know, c- come check out my college. But he would have them come up in fucking busloads. Like he'd have like fifty. It was Halloween weekend. And he must have had like fifteen or twenty of his friends from home up and this guy that had already been at northeastern organized this whole thing and um calling it up in a yeah somehow yeah somehow we had just ended up doing this the scavenger hunt and colin ended up being you know in that fountain and your friends are elaborate our friends came to visit and they hear 30 stones let's play caps (laughs) (laughs) so the next picture here so this will be picture five i think what it was is picture five you had to get a picture of Someone mooning a cop. So basically, <laughs> where this costume came from was that Friday afternoon. I, of course, I waited till very, very last minute to get a Halloween costume. For the viewers listening, it is is who's mooning? Do we know? Uh, or do you want to? Is that does that, yeah, is that term? Wait, I know one of Kevin's man, buddies. Yeah, home. One of who, Kevin's is. buddies is mooning. He has his yeah. underwear down, his pants down, and he's mooning a another a coed. A blonde co-ed who is in one of those like wor- horrible children cop outfits, yeah. and in the background, Colin is laughing like the Goonie is. <laughs> is that so, and outfit? Ramon is back here laughing too. But you're dying. Oh, he's the one I'm leading. Just dying. She looks more like a firefighter. Of course, we had to do. Here. Of course, rocking the you know jeans and flip flops. Yeah, you got those flip flops going there. Yeah, hemp mm-hmm. necklace. But still had a Deftones hat. So, I was, like, trying to, so like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I still listen to heavy music, but I'm, you know. So that was, I don't even know who this person is. So Do you know who this is? That was just some random girl. But the idea of this photo was <laughs> to take a picture of someone mooning a cop. So the day before, the reason why this cop outfit this came into days, play. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is the day after Halloween. Uh, of course, I waited till after class the day of Halloween. Because usually I typically wouldn't care about dressing up for Halloween. Colin never dressed up for Halloween at all. Um but I waited till the very, very last minute. There was this really awesome costume shop on Mass Ave there that we there was this massive line, and I ended up cutting it. And but then I was like, you know, found this really awesome costume. I couldn't remember what it was. It was probably just like a wig of, or whatever. And then like the owner of the shop came and grabbed me and was like, "You cut this line, get the hell out of my shop." So basically, I ended up like having to go to CVS and buy this. Did you freak out? Did you argue with him? Actually, no. I think about yeah, it. I, did, a, so, I, I, said, I said something, something like, something "Shave your beard. fucking beard." Yeah. Some, some like, <laughs> like trying to be funny about it. You know. Meanwhile, here I am, fucking twelve years later, with a fucking probably longer beard than that guy had. But the uh, so basically, I ended up buying this like five year horrible ass cop outfit. Yeah, like cop outfit, just wearing it like super tight with that helmet. And then so we just got creative with this. You know, I guess we needed to you know get yeah. a picture of. Someone mooning a cop, so I was like, there's "That's no, a pretty there's, there's no aggressive way scavenger hunt yeah, thing to do." We were like, "There's yeah." And that's why is, we weren't going to do that. This is that's all, why. Yeah, we had this to is all out at the like, like I said, it was just very, very impulsive. I couldn't even think of how we even thought of that at that moment because there's no way we were going to get an actual cop to let us do that. No, not, I not any of those cops. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we'll, we'll break your head. That. We'll get into that. We'll tell. Yeah, we'll talk more about those. So that's so that's that. And then uh, if we go to picture six, we just get more butt uh, here. <laughs> Good. Um, Good. Whose butt is this? Uh, so it's that was a this guy that actually this. ran the uh, the scavenger hunt. Yeah, I actually think it's the same. And we'll we don't we're, we're gonna blur out faces that aren't <laughs> people that we really know. To well. protect the innocent. Uh, no, not even that. that I, not, I don't think we're really doing anything too bad. Actually, it's yeah. just like I don't. 
we I haven't seen these people and talked to these people, some of them since we were freshmen, so I don't you know want to put their pictures on the internet. Um, I think this is the same person from the previous picture. Why is his shirt different then? It's a different day, isn't it? No, no. Oh, no, this is the same guy. night. Okay, yeah, no, so this is a different person. I Can we bring it. attention to Colin throwing up the horns? Yeah. Just for, for yeah. no reason. Always. It's always. It's Ramon, always armor Either on that Colin. Like a piece, piece Colin throwing up something. the horns. Some redhead mooning over here. All right, Some so blonde girl in the background doing God what's, what's knows what. Sh- what's my shirt say there? Find, Find your, your way. way. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a quick picture of number six. And then number seven is basically just uh, us that same night. And this is our. This is a great picture. This is our friend, Matt, who went to Wentworth. and. And uh, night, we actually probably night, we probably should blur puked. out his uh, last name there. Actually, I don't know if he wants his name out there. That night he puked in an elevator full of all of us, <laughs> and it was yeah. One he of doesn't the most look repulsive. He's things. not looking too hot here. Yeah, no. Nah. But we still see him. He's still Trouble's a good friend of ours. You had that out of time shirt on. Uh, out of time, that, like, sweet out of time. Like, Denzel Washington. Movie? Yeah, some some movie. I got this, this from picture IG. six, right? Yeah, this is picture. This is picture seven. Gotcha. Uh, so this is kind of you know just some some ancillary stuff. Now we're gonna we're gonna move on to. Uh, the good stuff. Yeah, some different kind of stuff. So this is us, eight. This is typically us in our dorm rooms. Now, this is my friend Kate. Um, I don't know. How do you look, go from looking like such a man in the other one to looking like such a baby here? Look I don't at know, your this, face. Picture eight, like, no, baby this face. This is the progression. This is probably January where we were just yeah, living off you know, mashed potatoes and, and gotcha. baby as the, uh, the women at the yeah. Colin, yeah. Colin is on in a, in a <laughs> top bunk here with a woman. Both of them have blue solo cups. And the Colin baggiest looks about 12. Of all time. He looks 12. Yeah, baggiest jeans. You got freaking... My Limp Biscuit posters in the background. Well, they're not in this picture. Yeah, we'll see those. Yeah, we'll see the Limp Biscuit posters. In we, I mean, I could tell already. I didn't need to <laughs> yeah. see them to know they're there. <laughs> <laughs> so this is kind of just how we were living. This was Ramon's bed. And uh, yeah, this is our friend Kate. We're still friends with her, too. She's really good friends with Kevin, who we were mentioning before. Um, and uh, yeah, we became really good friends with her. I mean, the friend. thing was about this this room was that it was the corner room. We all had lofted beds, but because of the corner it ended up just being that much bigger than everyone else's room yeah, you had a so huge it was room. like it became the hangout spot the hangout on the room. floor Quarter. um you know there was like a futon fucking bullshit all of it. so that was floor eight and then and that's number picture eight and then we go to picture 10 uh that's just me in the background looking like a blur yeah you're but moving is, so fast but this was like a weird i don't remember what this was i don't what is the what I'm is wearing the a date Mr. on this Sparkle this shirt. is early i think nice. yeah so this yeah. is, this is october 2nd so we were only in northeastern for a month at this point Mm-mm. This is sophomore year, actually. There's so no way this is sophomore year. Definitely is. No way, man. I wouldn't have dressed like this sophomore year, would I? <laughs> Dude, Colin's wearing <laughs> pants that he. Oh get yeah, you're right. Two other legs wore in. the same shit for like five years. Yeah, that's true. That's are a good those point. pants that turn into shorts? No, no, no. These are just like white. I thought so too. I, they, they definitely look. <laughs> they like were. That. They weren't though. Is Ramon accosting this elderly Asian man? Yeah, I don't man? know. What, what, is I don't, what are we doing here? I think. So I this is when we're back. So this is when we lived in Willis. I was just being a punk. So this is a little Seriously. out of order here, but uh, this is on. Is this Mass Ave? Yeah, that was Mass yeah. Ave. So anyway, just another nice picture. That's picture ten. All right, now so we're gonna get into an interesting story about freshman year. Picture picture, picture 11, eleven is Colin oh taking God. a selfie. It looks like flicking it off. So now, all right, you want? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, what I was gonna say before when you're like um, talking about him looking completely different from that first yeah, picture, yeah. because it really does show. Especially these these next pictures are just gonna really show how I think malnourished we truly were <laughs> at this point <laughs> so this is so these pictures are all together if we go to the, this picture and then the next one is ramon throwing off the horns now ramon had mono really bad when we were freshmen <laughs> and uh so he was in the hospital like for a while in the fall and this is when he was recovering he has uh, this is alcohol shirt certainly in the in the cup this was in the hallway sort of like this was in the hallway soda, outside of chris our friend chris's or uh dorm room <laughs> now these two pictures were taken for a specific reason um because we used to do this thing called juke mania which was a, a football league, a Madden league that we used to do. And juke mania, what, so juking in football is like when you move around and Ramon would get really mad at our friend Chris because he would juke too much. No, it was Kevin. Oh, Kevin. Oh, Kevin yeah. I'm sorry. Kevin would juke too much. Real quick, I have a yeah. question. Did that help you at all, Tim, as someone who knows nothing about football? Juking, juking is when you move around a lot. <laughs> no, but I, I know what you know, yeah, yeah, you know, like when you jump and jive and whatever. You plant a foot and you act like you're going one way, but yeah, you cut yeah, the other. Yeah. So there was buttons in like Madden 03, 04 and stuff like that would let you juke. And Kevin would just do it endlessly to Ramon and drive him nuts. So one day Ramon proclaimed, like, I can't I can't take any more of this juke mania. Because he just came in to my room for a friendly Sunday afternoon game of Madden. Just like, hey, you want to play Madden? And, you know, right off the kickoff, he, he fucking started juking like a maniac. And, like, got a touch down and I was just I don't know what happened this rage came over me and I threw the controller across the room and was like I can't take this juke mania and then he was just looking at me and I was like get out <laughs> <laughs> Ramon was known for freaking out 
a lot when yeah, we were younger, but we'll get into that in a little you know, while. There was definitely an adjustment period, I would say, over the first couple years of college. So, picture so pictures is... 11 and 12 are our Juke Mania pictures because we had a Juke Mania League that was named after Juke Mania. And, and so picture 12A shows the Juke Mania leaderboards. Now, <laughs> now the, the, these are the Juke Mania standings for one particular Juke Mania it League. We graphics. have several Juke Mania uh, Leagues. So we would, we would print out all these things and then do the wins and losses and all this kind of stuff. So we play with our – this is Chris – who we'll see a little, a little bit. Our friend Rich, who I haven't seen since college. Uh, you know, me, Kevin, who was in a bunch of these pictures, Ramon, and then our friend Brandon, um, who uh, actually was just a PAX East, but he, I don't know what he does now. Um, but he he was uh, our friend Chris's roommate. Anyway, so that's just a little insight into the neuroses of Colin because I would I would keep all these standing. Oh, this is you. You yeah, did yeah. this, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course. Right. <laughs> all right, now the next picture. Picture 13. The next picture is important because this, this is the, well, let's just look at it. <laughs> so, this is the Bart Simpson bong. Now, the Bart Simpson bong is the origin of one of the great Northeastern stories of all time. <laughs> I didn't think you'd tell this story. Awesome. Uh, so, uh, so this is uh, picture 13. And so, Ramon's brother got him a Bart Simpson bong, as you can see in this picture, which Ramon is smoking. So, by the way, even now, a backstory on my brother. <laughs> sorry to interrupt you there. My brother was 28 years old when I was 18, and he was coming to Northeastern as if he was like one of us. <laughs> like, so he was like Nick Scarpino. Yeah, like almost so much where like he made me tell this lie to all of the freshman girls that he was like a 24-year-old law student at Duke. Meanwhile, he was 28, like a salesman slash stand-up comic slash dirtbag. <laughs> like, sorry, sorry, like, Joe, if you're watching. No, you weren't a dirtbag. But in reality, he really just wanted to be there and kind of look after me and make sure I was, you know, hanging with the right crew and everything. But... Still, it was pretty awesome because I remember Colin being like, yeah, I mean, like, your brother just, like, wants to, like, stay with us and, like, hang out in the dorms and, like, buy us liquor and shit. Like, geez, like, what, uh, you know, like, you're like, my brother totally been doing it. You're like, your brother was married at the time, like, <laughs> totally, like, grown up. But anyway, he bought me this, uh, this Bart Simpson bong and I thought it was, like, the coolest thing ever. And, you know, of course, he brought a bunch of weed up with him and, you know, <laughs> but the, I, I think him getting that bong, that was the same week of, I think it, that was... My birthday weekend, I want to say, and then that's when you, myself, Kevin, and Chris really started coming together and becoming, you know, really great friends. But anyway, so, um, so th this this bong is instrumental. To this this a, a really, uh, I'll let Ramon tell the story because it's it this this bong is like a notorious piece of it's a relic of our relation our, uh, not only me and ramon's relationship but our relationship with a lot of our friends what's that crazy is that, that it currently lives at my girlfriend's parents house in storage <laughs> and her mom was just like what is this kate and she was just like oh it's just bart simpson <laughs> the bart simpson sippy cup meanwhile, so, meanwhile it's cracked and his fucking white eye is all burnt <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, the lighter would be lit right here it would burn his eye so do you want to tell the story, the specific yeah, yeah. story so, about this? I mean, basically, it was in March of 2004, and uh, Chris, uh, who we, we you know we're probably going to see more pictures of as we go through this little photo flip here, but um, you know, we were just like, you know, want to go smoke weed, and you know, it was kind of towards the end of the night, and we're you know everyone was we were perpetually in sweatpants and slippers, and you know, just kind of hanging out. We were probably playing Madden, and we went into the alleyway um, alongside. White Hall, our freshman dorm, and basically, you know, we were smoking, but rather than take like a joint or a blunt or even like a little pipe piece or anything, we just decided to take this bright ass Bart Simpson bong with us into an alleyway, walking around with Bart Simpson. And then, so we're in this alleyway and we get done with whatever we have to do. And uh, there, we heard this, this crashing noise. I don't know what happened. Maybe someone fell out of a window. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on back in North Houston. But, uh, you know, either way, um, you know, we heard a crashing noise and we're just like, oh, we didn't take any mind of it. And then, you know, we're done smoking. And all of a sudden, Chris just turns to the left and there's a flashlight and it's a cop. And he flashes on us. Chris looks at him. Chris is not knowing what to do. The first thing that came to mind, he was just like, yo, be out, be out, be out. <laughs> so all of a sudden I was like, I think I was like one scared and startled, but also like thinking to myself, Chris, why the hell would you just say that? What made you say be out? Be out times? isn't one of his terminologies. It's not, no, a no, not really. No. But so then he just books it out of this alleyway 
The cop's still there. But then at this point, he's like going to go tell his other cop friends. And so I just had nothing else to do but run. But, you know, we were in slippers, like I said. So like instantly, two seconds in, my slippers came off. I'm running around. Basically, there was a uh, a park called the Fens, which is you know a place you didn't want to get caught dead in in the middle of the night. Uh, we more or less did this loop around, but through this loop, you know, I'm running in socks. I stepped in this massive puddle of mud. Um, Chris is just like, "Get rid of the bomb! Get rid of the bomb!" I'm like, "Dude, it's a birthday gift, man! Like, I don't want to get rid of it." And like, he's just like, "Just put it in there! Just put it under a bush!" And I was like, "I don't want to lose it." He was like, "Just put it there." So anyway, we hit we hit the bong. Um, we did this loop around and then mind you, at this point, my socks are like completely hanging off. Like, I don't even know why I didn't take my socks off. I should have just been barefoot at this point. My socks are like flapping around (laughs) in in mud. And Chris is just kind of like, yeah, you know, we're, we're good. There's no cops around. You know, we're good. I'm like, he's like, just, uh, just act normal. I'm like, Chris, I don't know if you've noticed my socks. Uh, they're flapping around. Like, I was like, fucking, I don't even know. But, um, so then we get to the courtyard. Whitehall had this big courtyard. And Chris was just telling me, like, be cool, man. You know, don't cause a scene. Like, it's all good. We'll get into our dorm room. Everything will be fine. Chris decides to run into the courtyard like he had just killed someone. (laughs) He had his hands in his pocket. He had his hood up. And he just starts running again. And I'm just kind of like, fuck, I got to follow this motherfucker and try to look like nothing happened. So we get to the door. I'm thinking, like, we made it. And all of a sudden, you hear this cop just being like, get the fuck back here now. And then meanwhile, we were like, we had a swipe in in the dorm. And we're like, totally like yelling at the, the little Indian guy swiping us in and like, just like let us in. And he like, he wouldn't let us in at first. And he finally did. And then... At that point, the cop had gotten to the door and basically pulled us out. And, you know, it. we thought it was going to be one cop, but it was literally about eight of them for some reason. So it wasn't even just a cop. It was Northeastern police. It was Boston police. It was, you know, the guys that had, you know, the little vests. Like, they were getting ready to arrest us. Like, you know, the paddy wagon guys. They had the one guy that was like a mall cop. He was like, he was like a brown, he had some brown uniform. I mean, I, I think he, he might have just been dressed up as a cop. Maybe he wasn't a cop. But the woman were, from the earlier picture yeah, there was, was there too. There so many cops for two kids running around in freaking muddy socks. And so we get out there and they're like, do you know why we're, we're talking to you right now? And uh, we're just kind of like, no, officer. They're like, yes, you do. And they elevated instantly. <laughs> And they were like, we heard a noise. Something was going on in that building. We have video footage of you guys breaking in on camera to that apartment over there. And we're just like, uh, we don't know what you're talking about. And then basically they're just kind of like, I'm trying to try to get it all together right now. So basically at that point, you know, three more cops came up to us. And they start questioning us, and you know, like one cop's like, "Why are your eyes red, Ramon?" And I was just like, "I got contacts in, man." And he was like, "You got to answer for everything, Ramon." And I was like, "He just kept saying my name over." Once they found out my name, you know, like they ID'd us, whatever. Found out that we were fucking little eighteen-year-olds, and you know, they were like, "What were you doing in that? Uh, what were you doing over that apartment?" And we were just like, "We were just hanging out, smoking cigarettes." And they're like, that wasn't the only thing you were smoking. And we were like, no, we were just smoking cigarettes. And, uh, you know, they're, they were like, well, then why are your eyes red? And we were just like, and then Chris was like, yeah, hey, he's got contacts. And, uh, you know, he was like, why are, we, why are we running away? And it was like, oh, Chris was like, yeah, we heard a noise. And then basically, like, they're like, split them up. They're answering for each other. And then... Uh, it just, it really, it really started escalating to where, you know, all of a sudden the guy that I was convinced wasn't even a real cop <laughs> dressed in this brown uniform, like, you know, I don't even know, like he probably had like a plastic star badge, you know, like, I, but he got really aggressive and it was just kind of like, 
did the cops even realize this guy's probably not even a cop? I mean, I'm sure he was, <laughs> but he really just was just like trying to practice. Meanwhile, like the whole dor- the whole dorm is looking out at the window. I remember seeing Kevin's little head peeking out, <laughs> like kind of just being like like shaking his head. You know. Meanwhile, I'm like almost to tears. You know, because these cops were getting super aggressive, and at one point the the, the guy with the you know the star badge was like, now something was in your hands, Ramon. What? What's in your hands, Ramon? What was in your hands? And then Chris is like, it was a water bottle. And I was like, it was a water bottle. And they're like, they split them up. They're in there for each other. <laughs> and we were just kind of like, what is going on? So then the guy goes, now my partner, my partner says that he saw you with, I, I, he said something like a hammer or like something, that, like a crowbar or something. And... He was just like, so you trying to tell me that my partner of seven years is a liar? And we were just kind of like, yeah. <laughs> and, and then he just started bugging out because at that point, I was also just so high out of my mind that like, I just didn't even know. Like, then they started basically saying like, you know, do you know what can happen to you guys if you guys are breaking in? And we were just like, no. <laughs> and they're like basically trying to they weren't even necessarily trying to I don't even know really what they were doing they were trying to accuse us of breaking in but then also they were just trying to get us for smoking weed in an alleyway with a Bart Simpson bong um, and then eventually they just they just let us go um, but really you know you brought up recently like it was actually a pretty big deal to have weed at that time in in public in Boston. Yeah, because now it's, I think now it's decriminalized in Boston, but in, in Massachusetts, but at that time it wasn't. So it was serious when anyone would go smoke weed. Yeah. More serious than in California or New York. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, really, you know, I'm sure there's definitely been, I mean, this is 12 years of me telling this story. I'm sure there's probably things I might have left out, but, you know. How did you get the bong back? Yeah, the bong, oh. the bong, we got, oh, yeah, 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 they yeah. got the bong back. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, I was very concerned about it. If they had found that, we probably would have been in deep shit because paraphernalia. Yeah. And my fingerprints were on that and whatever. Who, I mean, who knows how deep they would have taken it. I'm sure, you all know, the way. all the way. It's the only way to go. Yeah. <laughs> but you know, um, the next day we ended up finding it underneath the bush and no one had touched it. <laughs> nice. And, you know, Bart lives on, you know, in your girlfriend's, mother's in my house. girlfriend's mother's basement. And uh, I'm sure it's, you know, it's seen many better days, many exciting days, but now it's retired. and <laughs> Never has, a night that exciting. I would has. love to see, like, the Toy Story version of this bong right here. Just, like, what he does when we're not looking. And he's just alive. <laughs> so that's that's one of Ramon's great stories from college. Uh, we'll move on to just a few more freshman sto- uh, pictures. Uh, picture 14. This is when we were moving out, I think. Uh, this is our buddy Kevin, uh, who's going to be on. Man, I thought Ramon... The top one was... Yeah, Colin? I thought the top one was Colin for sure. Yeah, this no, is Ramon, Ramon, me, and then this is... You're uh, staring at yeah, you can tell, at, this, at this point, we probably were still playing Madden. You know, like, I was I was probably already, like, 1 and, like, 12. You know, Colin was, like, 7 and 7. Rich was, like, 16 and 0. <laughs> but we were, like, still trying to catch up to Rich. And it was just... You can just see how delirious we are. Like, you can tell, like, all the all the sheets are picked up. And, I mean, just look know, at Colin's like eyes. Like people are moving Colin's out. Colin's hair looks weird, too. It doesn't look like your normal hair. It looks yeah. like you could comb that into something. Yeah, I don't think I did, but <laughs> knowing me at that time, I, I'm sure I didn't. Um, so let's see. Oh, this is so. This is a this is a picture of my a, a picture of my room. This Number is me 15. wearing. So I used to wear my dad's. It, Boston's very cold. This is a, a wool, my dad's wool dress coat from the FDNY. You can see the logo. Um, and I used to wear this because it was I looked like a Civil War general, and it's because cool. it was really warm. It's a cool coat. Uh, but this is a little shot of my room, and I wonder. I wonder. Can we zoom? I don't, know, so I don't know, but you can see my GameCube back here on top of my Xbox, <laughs> and then my PS2 next to my TV, and I have some my World of Nintendo thing here, some anime posters. This the important was, question is how like many the ones hats that do you have? I have two hats, so I have my orange hat on <laughs> over my Yankee hat because it's so cold. I don't know why we took this picture, and this was when I lived in my room by myself. My roommate moved out like early on in freshman year. Just couldn't and take I, you anymore. He he had he had some some issues he had to deal with. So we Colin Moriarty. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> number one. <laughs> so I lived alone for a while, which was awesome. 
And then I got another roommate, this guy James, who was a football player, and he was he's fucking funny. And 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 he used to just think we were like, I think the fucking stupidest dudes. Like, <laughs> yeah, like no. he re- like he re- like really was like, you guys are fucking. Like dumb. you see how skinny I was. I mean back then. I mean I'm just as skinny as I was. I think back then. But like he, you know, this is this Jack dude coming out of the shower and be like, he'd see me walking to the gym, and be like, Yo Ramon, you trying to get swole? <laughs> and I'd be like. Yeah, James. <laughs> yeah, James. <laughs> so uh, we'll cruise through the rest of these here. This is uh, Ramon. Uh, picture seventeen. With a pl- what, picture seventeen with a plunger on his plunger face. So, face. Of course. Yeah. Classics. Uh, and then the next. One, all right. So all right. So these. All right. So yeah. So <laughs> no, ni- nineteen. That, so nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, and twenty-four are pictures. So these pictures are from when the Patriots won the Super Bowl against the Panthers. Okay. So this is early two thousand four. Was think. it the Eagles? Yeah. Maybe. Picture one looks like Colin is in a riot. He, there's a parking meter in the center of the picture. He is kneeling down, looking up at the camera while two men come around him. Flipping no, the so, bird. There, so there was nothing like so there were bad riots more towards the center of the city. People were more just outside Northeastern celebrating and hanging out. And some yeah. people were getting in the shit, but we weren't. We were just out there. But what was funny about these particular pictures were um, the fact like, yeah, so next so we're moving on. This is Ramon and I out there and I'm wearing my Jets jersey. Uh, and this is our friend Chris and, and an old friend of ours, Tyler. They switched um, That if you just scroll through these photos, like we we're just we're just hanging out and pointing my Yankee emblem here. You guys love the middle finger so much. Yeah. yeah oh yeah. Definitely. And then and then you can see us <laughs> here with our Jets jerseys on, which is fu- which is Ooh, funny. Sideburns. Yeah, Ramon's sideburns are looking pretty ill here. So you look different in every photo too. So these were just funny pictures. People were really celebratory at this time because the Patriots had won. Um, there was some bad shit going on more towards BU, I think. Well, but yeah, like, I mean, we, there's we, another picture that we left out. I mean, there was a car flipped over. Someone got run over. I know at that <laughs> at that ride. By us? Yeah. Oh like, yeah. Literally I mean, street over. I mean, if you look at go back to a few pictures down with you know. With Wait, can we clarify? Just... You guys ran someone over? No, we no, didn't. No, no, no. no, no. That's what it not. sounded like. The yeah, way you, you just said by us. It. Yeah. No, no, no. I meant, I meant, I meant no. by us. Like, yeah, by our, by where we were. By near us. By northeast. Yeah, we great. They dropped. They just dropped the vehicular man. Yeah, we can show that picture of the person you ran over. Because the one thing I remember about this is like I don't. I remember hearing stories about the first time they won the Super Bowl. Um, like before we had started or whatever mm-hmm. and shit got really bad or whatever and I was like I don't really want I want to go out and just experience the kind of atmosphere but I don't want to be around any bad shit or whatever and I don't think that there was yeah some people were getting into some bad shit near us I think but I didn't want to get involved in like they were like by BU and I think like by like Copley and stuff like that like I think shit was getting like way worse um, well if you go back to that uh, the other picture of the two of us for some reason you know when I look at this picture uh, sorry I'm not talking to the mic there but um, I can't see the numbers anymore it just it really this, just wait, shows this is, you, this I is think, really just how like, <laughs> like beat up and broke down we look at this time. I mean, here really. you look fine. You're in picture twenty <laughs> with your polo there. You look like normal college kids. I mean, you can tell as these pictures go on the twenty or nineteen through twenty four, where it's like this is like perfectly in focus, everything's good, and then you get to this, and it's yeah. just like the last photo you like, see through his head. Of just you're like, seeing the guy's head here on twenty four. Well, this was also. I mean, I remember this, this, this that, really was the, that was the that was the. That was the second riot we experienced, and and this is this goes to show you how passionate everyone in Boston was when the Red Sox beat the the A's in the division series. There was a riot, and I think maybe it just had to do with the fact that it was early in the school year, and they were going to play the Yankees after that. And that's when Aaron Boone hit that home. Yeah, run. and that's when the Yankees beat them. But the fact that there was rioting for that, it just you know really showed you set the tone. Yeah, no, and then. Then they won the Super Bowl, and then later that year they won the World Series. You know, from that incredible comeback. But and that got crazy too. I mean, some girl got shot in the face with a pellet gun, died, and you Jesus, know, I remember that. another person got run over. Not by us. Um, <laughs> but did you shoot her? With shit the got gun? real, man. I remember my dad calling me and being like, "My dad gets really serious at times. You know, he's really really funny dude. But he he called me every now and then, and it's like he's watching the news and he calls me and he's just like, Ramon." Do not go to Lansdowne Street. Do not go to Fenway Park. <laughs> Call me and confirm you got this message. <laughs> I was like, God, Dad, no, we just hung out. And meanwhile, I was like, you know, my buddy Alex was like swinging from a pole, some picture, and like, you know, it turns out Alex, Alex uh, is another great friend of mine that I, uh, you know, work on some music with. He, I remember him, he kind of had the same situation with his dad, and his dad was like, yeah, don't go over there. And basically, there's a picture of Alex on that pole in the Boston Herald that his dad saw the next day. And he was like, his dad would be very like, hey, so what'd you do last night? You know, and he was like, oh, you know, the Red Sox won and, you know, uh, 
we just kind of hung in and the people were riding. He was like, yeah, so what was, why am I seeing your picture in the Boston Herald this morning? <laughs> Dude just got in so much shit. But anyway. All right. So now, so that's, that's basically freshman year. We had good times. We, 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 you know, like to drink a little bit and, and do some things, but we were, we were, I, I, I think it wasn't we were, a little bit, man. We, yeah. We drank a lot, but I think that we were, we were good kids. We, we, you know, worked hard and we did our thing or whatever, but we, you know, we had, we had, we had some fun. Now we, we went to sophomore year. Now this is when, oh, I'm sorry. Do you have, do you want to... I have a point. How long have we been going, Kev? 46 minutes. Okay. Oh wow. All right. So we'll cut my topic out. No, we can oh, break we can, it in two. Just, just break it in two. Why not? We can shelve one of ours. This is boring, man. We can. We can no, this is no, amazing. This is fun. No, I'm saying. Yeah. Did I'm, you get my text? No. I literally just texted you saying, "Should we split this in two? Give me a pound, there, there, best friend. I'm saying ain't, maybe we should stop right. now, and then we pick up with sophomore year next. Okay, yeah, 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 right. yeah, yeah. Okay. So there you go. 